We see this new product being launched. What are the ambitions in terms of volume and in terms of revenue relative to the cash side of the business? Talk us through your ambitions in derivatives. Uh, good morning, Manis. Um, um, indeed, um, this is an important development for the um, Saudi capital market, and this is part of what we have promised to deliver um, as part of the uh, Tadawal uh, reform and the Saudi capital market reform in general. Um, it is it is um, um, an essential um, investment offering for our clients, and it is an expected also um, specific um, requirement for our institutional investors, whether they're local or international. As as far as the liquidity is concerned, um, you know these um, uh, these type of products or market uh, has uh, a great element of uh, complication. Uh, to be understood by retail um, and even some local um, investors. We we anticipate the liquidity to grow every day um, um, around the market since the liquidity on the underlying, which mm -hmm. is the equity market, is, is high. So um, we're yeah. watching the liquidity. We're watching um, the education part of um, the, the investors, uh, so either locally sure. or in the region. Uh, but I expect that to grow um, eventually, uh, as we do. Yeah. And we expect also to introduce further Khalid. projects. Yeah. Khalid, in July, you said uh, that single stock futures and single stock options, index options could come at, at a later stage. Can you firm that up a little bit for us? Sure. So we uh, we decided to go with the index futures at the beginning as part of uh, launching the market, educating the investors. And we'll continue to introduce uh, further product. Our next um, um, product would be single um, stock futures. Um, once we we test the market with the index futures, we'll be ready um, to launch this uh, in the first half of 2021. Khaled, you mentioned the retail investor needs to learn uh, and equip themselves, perhaps relative to the professional market. I just want to get a sense from you during COVID, a huge emergence of, of Robin Hood traders, of retail traders. Are your volumes on the exchange, on the cash market in this COVID period, materially higher? Have you seen an explosion on the retail side? Um, indeed. I, I think this is an experience many markets are, are witnessing these days. Um, our um, ADTV has increased by, I would say, threefold um, on average um, during COVID-19 and still um, at this level, uh, we our our current ADTV is around 1.7 billion US dollars, um, which is far from um, um, it, it was around 800 700 um, million US dollars um, in the last year. Um, as 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 uh, other markets are witnessing, yes, retail um, are uh, active um, in the Saudi market. Um, is that um, a good sign or a bad sign? I don't think we can confirm what is the sign of retail um, inflows these days. But uh, definitely COVID-19 is um, a, a, a great factor mm -hmm. to uh, a seasonal activity on the stock markets. Uh, what about future IPOs? I mean, from the conversations you've had, from the uh, proposals you've seen, what are the indications? Is it going to get busier into year end into 2021? Are you expecting a few more juicy IPOs that investors can start, uh, well, getting excited about? Let me put it that way. Well, um, again, we haven't anticipated since COVID-19 um, started. Um, we, we anticipated slowness on the IPO. However, um, actually, the pipeline is very healthy. Tadawal this year have imported six um, securities in the market. Um, two already on the way. Uh, we'll have our tomorrow. We'll have our first direct listing in the mall market. This is the first uh, direct listing in the GCC um, region, um, and at least um, there are four to five uh, IPOs under review. So I think. This year and potentially next year, it's becoming surprisingly a very healthy pipe, um, um, IPO pipeline for um, the Saudi market um, despite COVID-19. And I think some of these companies are accessing the market on such challenging time to get the full benefits of the market. 
Do you think that the progress that you're making in terms of the, the futures, the single stock futures, which will come, as you say, um, hopefully in time, will that bring, will that pull forward the timeline on your IPO, which I think in July you'd said to us, look, that's probably in the next 24 months. But this progress that you're making, the volumes that you've just outlined, can you pull that timeline forward reasonably next year? Is, could it come next year? Uh -huh. Uh, well, absolutely. Would it would it change our position? Would it accelerate um, the IPO of the exchange? Uh, definitely, because um, as I said earlier, um, the derivatives market um, activating the Saudi clearing house, which was done also um, last Sunday, uh, were uh, a big. Uh, transformation that we wanted to do before we start um, um, reading any paper around IPO. It would accelerate that timeline, but um, not necessarily to be in 2021. Um, uh, we'll, 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 we'll assess that in the Q1 2021, but it's going to be in a shorter time than 24 months, in my opinion, um, as developments have become um, faster um, uh, as the Dow is concerned. Yeah. Khaled, uh, a look at the premium that investors have to pay for Saudi stocks in comparison to the emerging market benchmark. It's quite sizable. And it's even more extreme compared to local peers, you know, be it Dubai or, or Kuwait. Uh, a lot of the interest and support is coming from a local base. What else do you have in mind to really try and get more foreign investors, foreign capital into Saudi stocks? Well, um, you know, I mean, looking at the, the premium of the market overall, I don't think this is a good indicator for an investors. Uh, you know, as you know, um, investors are specific to um, specific sector, specific subsectors. Um, what we're trying to do is making the information available um, to and be um, as much transparent as we can. Uh, for these investors. What are we trying to do to um, include or to attract more capital um, from foreign investors is continue to uh, increase our offering base um, as well as um, our listing opportunities, whether um, this is by local uh, listing or even tabbing into uh, GCC uh, corporate to cross list um, in the Saudi market, acting as um, a GCC uh, hub for uh, foreign investor investment um, inflows of uh, cash in, in, in equity markets in the region.